Hey y'all, what's up, 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 it's your girl True and I am back with another one. If you are new to the channel, head on over, hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you are notified when I upload new videos. If you're returning and you gang gang, you already know how we do it over here on the channel, baby. We about to get into these messages. Um, So I was guided, spirit guided me to basically um talk a little bit about um energies entities um demons attachments right um so i want you guys to know um we live in a world of lower energies okay i want you guys to understand that we live in a world of we live in the devil's play. This is the devil's playground, right? You, I know you guys heard that saying all the time. But we really don't think deep into that saying, right? Um, but hence why it's so so much drinking, smoking, sex, um, third party, three, four relationships, people together, you know, um, people not really getting married, you know, broken homes, just a whole lot of bull BS um killing robbing right even can go further murdering right um i want you guys to think of every single person as a energy and i want you guys to think of every single person as an energy that can fluctuate And that no person energy ever stays the same. And if so, they're forcing it. You have to have those up and downs, those highs and lows, those good and bads. That's what duality is in this life, in this round. Um, so what I've noticed is, you guys know my heart, um, and I give people the benefit of the doubt. But I need you guys to really be mindful of who you allow in your energetic field, whether you are sensitive to energies or not. Being sensitive to energies only means that you can feel the slightest shift in people and things around you and so forth. You can even get to the point as me, as sensitive to energies, where bad energies will make you shake when you raise your vibration to a certain frequency. Well, when you guys allow lower energy people or lower energy things into your frequency, it lowers your energy. Does that make sense? Family. We must eat healthy family. We must watch what we are listening to family. We must pay attention to who we are around. We constantly ask ourselves or I have people come to me and ask me, you know, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Why, why, why? But then they're like, but I know I'm around someone that's low vibrational or that's the devil that you're never going to your, that energy is just going to keep affecting what you have going on. The saying you are who you hang around. That's not just a saying. It's a deeper meaning to these sayings than what we really understand or apply to our life. But now it's time that we apply these overstandings to our life. So, so many sayings, you guys hear it so much, right? But we're not really applying them. We're allowing to toxic Tony to keep coming back. Toxic TT to keep coming back. Toxic friend to keep gossiping. All of this toxic, lower vibrational energies, making people feel bad, 
laughing at people, belittling people, getting with people just to have sex, not taming your demons. And a lot of times, let me tell y'all, people don't even know the demons that they got on them. So when they come to you saying, I loved you, and you like, no, you didn't, in their hearts, they fucking loved you because that's as far as they can love. But that's where you got to heal so you can identify the demons and those around you. And when you do, you got to be strong enough to cut them off. Somebody has been around lower vibrational friends, gossiping, fighting. I literally just got to download. Somebody's friend just literally put you with some shit that you had nothing to do with. But because you just so ride it, ride it, uh, I'm so ride it, ride it. You just got all this drama and it let lower shit hold you back and block you from some blessings. Understand? Everything is energy, and what you entertain, it grows. Somebody is stuck in a cycle with a spouse that they were supposed to cut off a long time ago. They're allowing these demons to cloud their judgment. You're struggling. Because of the energy, sadly, if you allow that energy to stay attached to you, you're just going to delay what's for you until you release it. The spirits are speaking through me right now. Somebody's going to receive this message. As I'm channeling, this was a specific channeled message. Pay attention and watch the demons on others. Because these people, they're not taking the time to watch the demons on themselves. It takes a lot of work. I have a lot more people come to me every day for readings and the tea than they do to get this work. They only knowing that they're putting themselves in a cycle. I keep telling y'all a reading is only so much if you're not doing this work. Shadow work, healing, taming your demons so then you can see the demons in others to be able to clip, clip, cut, cut and tame theirs. And when I mean tame their demons, that's not Allowing, healing them. It's not what I'm saying. We don't heal other people. Taming their demons is putting their ass in their place. Identifying the demon before it shows out. Did y'all hear my stomach? I gotta watch this replay. See if y'all heard that confirmation. <laughs> We're gonna get into these messages. That was just the opening for the collective. My phone storage is low. So we gonna see how much more time we got to go. <laughs> Do remember I read past, present, and future energies. I read masculine energies, feminine energies. I want you guys to take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rose, right? But don't force it. If it ain't your story this week, this day, it's not your story, baby. You're going to always get another read. I promise. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe. 
because the views going up, but the subscriptions ain't. So y'all watching, y'all looking, but y'all not subscribing. Spirit just said it because it's a lot of tarot readers. Don't be a hater. Show love. I show love too, y'all. Especially if you just starting off. Oh, yeah. If I see you on my, um, I'm getting chills confirmation. If I see a tarot reader or a reader and they have good energy and they're saying things to wake up and raise the consciousness, I automatically subscribe and like. Not saying that I'm going to watch their videos, but boop, I'm going to give you that energy because I know you're out here trying to help raise the consciousness and I know how hard it is for us real ones. <clears throat> so I don't know who this is for. Um, Spirit says stop. Okay. Tame that energy. <laughs> I don't know who this is for. But if you are a reader and you find yourself jealous, envious, not liking, comparing yourself, it's not your time. We're not ready yet. As a healer, we understand the agenda. We understand and we see through the fakes. And we understand how hard it's been for the real. We not out here hating. We congratulating. <laughs> I love this energy, y'all, man. I don't know where the freak it came from, but we're about to start this reading off. No! I ain't flipping that card over because how? Who getting this? You got to have a man to get this. You got to have it. It is valid. I just heard it's Valentine's Day on Tuesday. Y'all, okay, 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 okay. So we got lots of sex. We got lots of sex, okay? Then we got God's plan. God's plan. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I won't. <laughs> it is Valentine's Day. Okay, makes sense, y'all. You ain't got no... You ain't got no true... You know, you ain't... You ain't married and stuff. You be forgetting about them, them loving holidays, though. Oh, them paying holiday. It is Valentine's Day. When is Valentine's Tuesday, right? All right. Control those energies. Oh, we got it. We got royal lineage. Move forward. summertime at the bottom of the deck we about to get this reading so i'm getting an energy for somebody on here you could have recently just moved forward or spirit is telling you <laughs> i'm getting early morning sex okay they like that early morning good good okay 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 okay. this is okay and then the west okay so this is for somebody on here you just you just recently or not recently but you had to move forward for something that was like long term or something that was heavy it wasn't someone that you was just talking to, giving a little conversation. No, you literally had to move on from someone like, and it was something heavy. Okay. Um, and you're about to move right into something new. And this something new is God's plan. Okay. Y'all remember, I kept giving those messages a couple months ago about how this year is going to be the year of spiritual union, like of real relationships, real love for the ones that's been doing this work, that's been healing, right? That's not been doubling back, dibbling back, confusing the universe. You've been out here keeping steady. Like, I, 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 I know what I want. I know where I'm going. It's God's plan. God has aligned you with somebody. Okay. And spirit is saying, I'm hearing literally, open up, lots of sex. Like, y'all going to be able to do the do, like, lot, do the do. And I'm hearing, like, early mornings. Like, this person is going to like them early mornings, okay? Like, maybe they work a night shift or something, going to come home fresh off of work, and they want to, I don't know, they ain't tired, too tired to get any. I don't know. Okay, let me stop. Okay, that, that, <laughs> all right, what the fuck? Okay. Um, yeah, 
So for somebody on here, Spirit is saying move forward. Go after what you want, okay? Move forward and go after what you want, okay? Um, ah, it's not going to come out. So yeah, it's like a little black dot and it's just not going to come out. So we just going to leave that there. Um, but move forward, okay? Um, for somebody on here, though, Spirit is saying that you may confuse the relationship is what I'm getting, okay? Um, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Spirit. So, I literally just got two different stories, y'all. So, I'm about to tell one story. And I'm going to go in and tell whoever else the story that is if, if I don't forget the damn download. Um, so basically, damn, then we got widow. Okay. So listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Okay. Um, somebody on here is dealing with somebody. Okay. They have moved forward from this person. Okay. Or this person has moved forward from you. Okay. This person has moved forward from you and they dealing, they are dealing with somebody else. Okay. But they're like, but I choose you, but I choose you. Okay. They like, but I choose you but they're somewhere else, okay? But they want you to know that they choose you, okay? This is two different two different individuals, two different energies coming up in this reading, okay? I'm getting the energy that you may have had to move forward from this person, okay? So this could have been somebody whom I'm getting the energy, like it could have been somebody you could have thought was a twin flame or like a heavy soulmate, right? Um, but whatever they had going on, they couldn't release it to come to you, but in their hearts or hearts, they're like, but I choose you because of that. Thank you, spirit. It caused you to move forward. Okay. And because you move forward, God is basically aligning you with a new lover. Okay. This new lover that God is aligning you with, you two are going to have a bag together. Okay. I'm talking multiple I'm talking, I just heard four to six different streams of income. Okay. You guys are going to have a bag. That was, I got like a whole something feeling all through here. You guys are going to have a bag, like a bag, bag, like a bag, like I'm feeling something in here. Okay. And spirit is saying, you know, to continue to go after what you want. Don't hold on to the past. I'm getting specifically for somebody on here. Don't hold on to somebody that you thought was a love they like and this just because of what you feel in your spirit right if they like but i choose you it's no buts right i don't care about the but if you choose me you would choose me do you get what i'm trying to say so i'm getting the energy spirit is saying with this connection to continue to move forward okay you guys could be at a distance some you got south and then you have east coast okay you could be at a diff at a distance okay um Spirit wants me to let you guys know that this distance is going to close. Then you have East Coast, South, and then West, okay? East, South, East Coast, South, and West. East, West, and South. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So, basically, basically, y'all, listen to the fucking tea. Somebody, okay, y'all about to, first of all, y'all about to be relocating, okay? Y'all about to be, somebody about to relocate, like, far. They're about to relocate to come together. Um, Spirit is saying move forward, okay? Definitely move forward. Um, if a person choose you, they're going to choose you. It ain't going to be no, but I choose you. No, they choose you. They will be with you, okay? Don't allow nobody to play on you, get into your head, make you think, oh, this is what they want, and such and such and such, okay? Um, for somebody else on here, um, okay. For somebody on here, we're going to get into those stories. Um, I got Widow, okay? So this story, you could be... Um, you could be a widow. Um, this story, you could be with the widow coming out. Your story, thank you, spirit. Um, it, it was hard for you to move forward because you lost your spouse. Um, whether you were married, 
whether this is just a boo. This is for somebody, okay? I just got another download. And I'm like, I'm, I'm cold. Like, my hair, y'all probably can't see. But the bumps are, like, sticking up. And with Widow, it just got tight all right here. Um, somebody is having a hard time moving on from their spousal relationship. And spirit, your spirit team, your lover is telling you to move on. They are behind this connection, okay? It's God's plan. They are saying this is who you are meant to be with. Specifically, if you lost a lover, okay? Like a baby daddy, a father. For some of you guys, a married, a, like you actually lost your spouse. Like this was somebody that you were planning to be with forever, okay? Your spirit team wants me to let you know that your lover, God, this is God's plan. Understand they're going to be right behind you rooting it on. Baby, I want to see you be loved. I'm not there to love you, but I want to see you loved. That's true love. And they want you to move on in love and knowing that they love you. We got some good readings. We got some good readings. We literally got royal lineage and spiritual inheritance, okay? So as a tribe family, you're going to have spiritual inheritance. You have you have a royal lineage, okay? Um Especially, everything is energy, right? So if you were guided and gravitated towards the game, towards my, my YouTube channel, um, understand that <laughs> your name holds power in the spiritual realm, okay? Your name holds weight. Your name holds power. That's what the card says. Then spiritual inheritance and royal lineage. For all of those that this live gonna hit, you ain't one to play with when it comes to the spiritual realm, Okay? I was just saying this on my live yesterday. Don't let people tell you we are, are we equal? We are all one. We are all connected to an extent. <laughs> Everybody ain't going to tell you that, especially once they go deep into spirituality and realize it's levels to this shit. Not in an egotistical way, but it's levels. And there are chosen ones. And there aren't chosen ones. Hence the beginning of this video. You're a chosen one. If you were guided here. You have to be mindful of your energies. And who you are allowing in. They got me coming over here. I'm like, what's over here? Sweet loving person. Ties into what I'm talking about. It's okay to be that sweet, loving person. But we need that boundaries. We need to stop letting everyone in. We need to understand that we are the prize. And because we are this sweet, loving person with this light, these demons going to keep using these people to come in and try to throw us off. Even when they don't know it. They'll be crying to you. I love you. I love you. In their heart, they probably feel like they they do. Not even knowing that they're being used by demons because they're not taming their shadows. I hope that makes sense. Somebody on here, you have a mother that's, that's toxic, okay? And you love your mother, but she's toxic and she's jealous of you. You have to heal away from her. You have to heal away from her. This person that said, but I choose you, they are going through some things over there with their karmic relationship. Like the karmic knows that their heart is somewhere else. It says they know I really want you and that's why they're mad. Okay, then you have sex magic. What about this bail money? Somebody may be asked soon, like, about bail money or to, like, you know, get some money to bail out. Um, but this bail money, I'm not getting jail bail money. I'm getting, like, somebody is stacking up to bail out on somebody. Does that kind of make sense? Like, I don't know how I just took that from that. Like, but somebody right now is in a connection. This is specifically for somebody that's like, the but I choose you. 
<clears throat> just not saying to wait around for any motherfucking body and what they got going on. That This ain't what I'm saying. You better not. But Spirit is saying with bail money, somebody is stacking up to bail out, okay? You got sex magic here. So with that, lots of sex and then sex magic, when you and your partner come together, manifest with sex magic. Y'all gonna take over the fucking world with this fucking sex magic, okay? Somebody's calling me, so I'm gonna end this live really, really soon. We're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I hope y'all can still freaking hear me. Um, She's coming real soon. <gasps> This is for my masculine tribe members. Ah! Hopefully y'all can hear me. Oh, it's a card behind that. It's a card behind that. Adoption. You guys may get a pet. Adopt together. Okay. Um, red roses, blue roses. I'm doing... Oh my God, this is so crazy. So someone may get some red and blue roses soon. I love your butt. Somebody's going to love your butt. And then heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. Okay. So this, this reading was beautiful. Okay. Somebody is about to come together. A spiritual union is coming together. True love. Um, true companionship. Um, Y'all might have some things and it's going to be in the heat of the moment. So shit is going to happen. Um, I'm getting good vibes. I'm getting good vibes. Congratulations on the love. Um, understand, it's, it's about to be a lot of sex. I'm, I'm getting red roses, lots of flowers, lots of... This is going to be something different. You know, if you're dealing with the death as well, I just heard for some, um, the, this death has been put in a little, and it's not a death. It doesn't have to be a death specifically of, um, your loved one of, um, right. It could even be a friend, a death of a, a friend. Um, and it's just been kind of closing you off with love, true love. And spirit wants you to open yourself up. Spirit wants you to open yourself up, but that was the message. Okay. Know that do not hold on. The message was do not hold on. Continue to move forward. Know that God is going to align you with true love, with your companion, with your soulmate. And you're going to know you're not going to have to force, push, pull, feel depressed. It's not going to be all of that. Especially if it's ordained and it's God's plan. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen 